Well, time to pick up Flynn from the soccer camp. Totally stoked. This is the longest he's actually been away from us. So, um, or that we've been away from him. Either way, it's the same thing, right? Alright, so yes, Flynn made it back in one piece. Not just like the physical stuff, like they didn't take care of him or he didn't take care of himself, but emotionally, that was the biggest thing. Like, you know, what was in his head? Was he totally just pulled apart inside and completely distraught? Well, no, not, we knew he wasn't gonna be distraught, but just that, did it emotionally meet his need, help him stretch, help him challenge himself? That was the big thing. Of course, you know, the soccer skill totally leveled up. They did a great job. Um, at, the, at the camp they really did as far as what I could tell and I was there for the last day with like the little tournaments or the you know the, they were just playing some games now before I get into like some of the details I do have a challenge for you so I'll be brief on Flynn's experience but I do have a challenge for you so I'll get to that in a minute let me actually set this up it's kind of loud out here somebody's like drilling something jackhammering something but anyway we got to get it done let's get it done I think somebody's cutting down a tree as well so pardon the noise let's get to it all right yeah the camp was great um, they did a, a wonderful job putting together like I think kids and matching skill level but also putting kids to help them level up their skill level and just a, a variety of playing styles and rotating the kids but I don't want to get too soccery in here soccery that's not even a word don't even repeat it it's silly but I'll keep it in so I think like when I showed up the last day to pick him up and watching like all of these like rotating games and I mean he was in it, it was hot out there and like they got just a little bit of a break and then they had to go right back into the games but they did make it fun and there was actually this one part that if you don't watch soccer, I mean you really should, um, but you don't have to. If you know anything about Neymar Jr. and his playing style, but not just his playing style, but his theatrics of when he gets fouled or when he, yeah, like gets fouled. There didn't appear to be much contact there with the opponent, I have to say. Um, they did this great thing on the, on the pitch where they had the kids challenge themselves to do the best Neymar Jr. in the theatrics of, of fouling. So, you know, that B-roll clip in, in here that I'm, I'm pretty much showing is all of these kids trying to act like Neymar Jr. Again, you know, if you're a Neymar fan, um, you know, you know, so I'm not trying to offend anyone here. You know how he is. I mean, the guy must have like a theater degree or, or some, something, I mean, because he, he is a little ridiculous like that. Yes, a great soccer player, um, but come on, it's, it's, it's silly. Anyway, the short of it is, when we asked Flynn, like what the feedback was, how did you you know like it like what were some of the things that you liked most about it and he did say like he felt like he got some new moves he, he developed some new skills but he said he also felt like he made some new connections and that he really wants to do it again and he really wants to challenge himself and push himself again so like no questions he said for sure like 100 percent he's doing it again next year and just love the experience and we're gonna make that happen for them. And, well, like all three of them, because Liam wanted to go, but we decided like we just wanted to make this kind of a Flynn thing right now. But I think all three of them will end up there uh, next season or next, next summer. I'm just gonna let this plane fly over. We have an airport pretty close by. All right, good enough. Can't wait for that plane to continue flying over. Let's just get to it. So the challenge is for you. We all, have to stretch to some degree. There are so many defining moments, as I had said in, in one of the previous vlogs, that these can kind of create a major course for you. And you don't always have to stay on that particular course. In life, you can always pivot, you can always adjust, you can always acclimate to the setting, the situation that not only that you're in in that moment, but where you want to end up, like where you want to go. I didn't want, like in that vlog, 
to say like, okay, these defining moments, like set it in like stone, concrete or whatever, something that anchors you down. Yes, it can be like a North Star or a guide to help you do whatever it is that you wanna do, but it is like, you can adjust, but that's what all these defining moments are about because that can be a defining moment in itself. Like you're on a trajectory to go in a particular direction and that there's some defining moment, some experience that pushes you in another direction that hopefully is a positive direction uh, for whatever it is that you wanna do. So my challenge, because I use soccer as a reference because that's like our life right now, at least with the kids. You don't have to be interested in soccer or any kind of sport, but you know, it could be photography and filmmaking, it, it could be reading, it could be running, lifting weights, cycling, um, anything that you enjoy doing, anything that you do professionally can help be a gateway, can help be like the door opening to experiences that push you just that much further. So like if you're running by yourself, you're cycling by yourself, you have that ability to do it, but what about in a group? and a group of people that you have no idea like these people like make sure that they're safe and on the up and up and everything and maybe they're vetted and it's like a friend of a friend or you know i'm just saying like be safe but challenge yourself and stretch a little bit do something that makes you feel just a little uncomfortable don't hurt anybody be kind don't try to like you know do something that would would cause harm to someone or even yourself but i just mean that take an opportunity to i don't know why i'm putting my fists together I'm, i guess i'm just very passionate about it take an opportunity to allow yourself that's what it is like don't worry about permission you it's you don't ask for permission just do it so just take that opportunity to stretch and 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 be just a little bit uncomfortable and I can almost guarantee that if you do these things throughout your day, throughout your week or months, that I think it's gonna help you evolve into something, someone that you're gonna be proud of. So I'm not saying that you're not awesome right now. I'm sure you're awesome right now, but we can always be more awesome. And I guess that's the whole thing. Like that's the message of this particular vlog today is we can we can all be even more awesome each and every day let me know what that is what is something that makes you feel a little uncomfortable that you've tried to do but that has actually helped you do something to pivot into something else or to actually take charge of your life of your career of something that you just love to do I mean, it could be something very, very simple. It really can be. Don't make it harder than it has to be. And I'd love to put it in the comments, link it up, share it with the community, share it with me. I would love to see that. All right, so that's it, folks. I really appreciate you tuning in on this one. Be sure to like if you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining, inspiring, or whatever. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Subscribe with passion, like you mean it, like you wanna come back here for more content. So continue to rock faces, do things that matter. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next one. Almost gone.